direct and inverse proportion. Before going to the two examples, I'm going to show you how to translate the words into mathematical symbols. Let's look at some examples. When we say y is directly proportional to x, in mathematics we just use three symbols for it. The letter y, the symbol for proportionality, the one highlighted in yellow, and the letter x. Whether we say y is directly proportional to x or y is proportional to x, it means the same thing. To write this as an equation, we replace the symbol of proportionality with the equal sign and a k. So we have y equals k times x. The k is the constant of proportionality. Constant means that in a formula this number is fixed. A directly proportional graph is a straight line going through 0, 0 and the steepness is determined by the constant k. As you can see it on the graph, as one quantity increases, the other one also increases. Or as one decreases, the other one also decreases. A real life example of this would be if someone only gets paid per hour, their pay is directly proportional to how many hours they have worked. If they worked more hours, they get paid more. If they work less hours, then they get paid less. Y is directly proportional to the square root of X. Again, we are using the symbol of proportionality and instead of X, we write square root of X. Writing this as an equation, we swap the symbol of proportionality with equal and K times. So we have Y equals K times square root of X. Y is directly proportional to the cube of X. Make sure we write X cubed here. As an equation, this is y equals k times x cubed. When two quantities are inversely proportional, when one quantity increases, the other one decreases at the same rate. We can also refer to these as being in reciprocal proportion. And this is how their graph looks like. An example from real life would be speed and time. As we increase our speed, the time to complete our journey will decrease y is inversely proportional to x. We write this as y, then the symbol of proportionality, and then the reciprocal of x, the inverse of x. Whenever we have inversely proportional, we have to make sure that the x goes in the denominator. To write this as an equation, again, we just swap the symbol of proportionality with equal and k. So we have y equals k over x y is inversely proportional to the cube root of x. So we have y, the symbol of proportionality, and 1 over cube root of x. As an equation, y equals k over cube root of x. y is inversely proportional to the square of x. y, the symbol of proportionality, and 1 over x squared. As an equation, we have y equals k over x squared. Example 1. Y is proportional to the square of X when X is equal to 3, Y is equal to 36. Write the statement of proportionality. Y, then symbol of proportionality and X squared. Write an equation using K. We swap the symbol with equal and K. So the answer here is Y equals K X squared. Part C. Work out the value of K. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 36. In the equation y equals k x squared, we have 36 equals k times 3 squared. Then 36 is equal to 9k because 3 squared is 9. And because we are interested in k, we have to divide both sides by 9. So k is equal to 4. And now that we have the k, we also have a formula y equals 4x squared. We can use this formula to work out any missing values of y or x from now on. Part D. Find y when x is equal to 5. Using the formula from above, y equals 4x squared, replacing x will become y equals 4 times 5 squared, and this is 100. Part E. Find x when y is equal to 25. Using the formula, y equals 4x squared, Replacing y, we have 25 equals 4x squared, dividing both sides by 4, 
we have the value of x squared, 25 over 4. Square rooting this, we have plus or minus 5 over 2. Example 2. y is inversely proportional to the cube of x. When y is equal to 2, x is equal to 3. Write a formula for y in terms of x. We start by writing out the equation or formula y equals k over x cubed. So to answer this question, we need to find k. To do this, we are going to use what is given. When y is equal to 2, x is equal to 3. Replacing the values, we have 2 is equal to k over 3 cubed. 2 is equal to k over 27. Times in both sides by 27, we have 54 is equal to k. So the formula will be y is equal to 54 over x cubed. Part B. Calculate y when x is equal to 5. When x is equal to 5, we replace the x in the formula, so we have y is equal to 54 over 5 cubed. This is equal to 0 0.432. Part C. Calculate x when y is equal to 6.75. Substituting 6.75 into the formula, we have 6.75 is equal to 54 over x cubed. Rearranging the equation, Timesing both sides by x cubed and dividing both sides by 6.75 or simply use the shortcut, swap the x cubed with the 6.75. So the next step is x cubed is equal to 54 over 6.75. x cubed is 8. Cube rooting 8, we got the answer that we are looking for. x is equal to 2.